Hello everybody and welcome to today's Destiny video. So today I want to try something a little bit different. In fact, I've done this a couple of times in the past. I've done a couple of discussion videos in the past and people seem to like them. So I decided I want to do this more often and make a thing out of it. Maybe like a series, I might make a playlist out of them. We will see how well they get received. So today I want to talk about should light level be shown at all times? And by this I mean your 302 light level, not the level 40, the 302. A lot of people believe that the level 40 should be scrapped and when you see people around the tower, let's have a look over there, you can see some over there, the level 40 shouldn't be there and instead it should be your light level. Now I am here to argue against this. I think the current system is really, really good. The idea of the system is to relieve the pressure to be top level, even when you're doing like a rumble game or something. Now, this is my PvP set, um, and it's only 302, but it doesn't bother me. Now, because the only reason it doesn't bother me is because it isn't here instead. Now, in the past, in year one, in fact, my light level was really important to me. Even when I was in PvP, I really didn't like being seen at a lower light level. I know that's snobby or whatever, but... It's just the way it was. It's always visible, so it's more apparent to you that you are a lower light level than everybody else. So today I want to discuss this. Now in the background, I'm going to put on some Crucible gameplay for you to enjoy while I talk about this topic. So enjoy that in the background while I drone on. Now obviously the pressure of having a light level shown isn't gone, but it's certainly less than it was in year one. Now I personally am an avid player. I play a lot. I've got over 2,000 hours played in the game. Um, and I'm not ashamed of it either, it's obviously my job. But I always took pride in showing off my light level. And I know that a lot of other people did as well. Because I went into PvP and if I saw somebody who was a lower light level, I automatically assumed that they hadn't played the game enough to be a high enough light level. So what's changed? What's changed between then and now? Now the difference is... Now, your light level just isn't on your character. So if you kill somebody in PvP and you look at the game tag, that's the only way you'll be able to see their light level. If you just see them running around and you aim your reticle at them, you won't be able to see it. You only see 40, and I really like that. It makes everybody on a level playing field, and it makes it so you're not worrying about whether someone's better than you just because you see a light level. Now, today, yes, I have a lower light level, in PvP anyway, than most other people, but that doesn't deter me. I see my set of armor and I know for a fact I know how to play it. I don't see the point in increasing its light level unless I'm doing something a little bit more serious like Trials or Iron Banner. They're the only times it matters. Iron Banner, Trials and Raids are the only time light level matters. Everything else in the game, it doesn't really matter. Even Nightfalls, they're like 290 light. You can be 300 light and it won't even matter. Like You can go into that even 290 light and it won't matter at all. You can still do it. Nowadays, if you're LFG for something like a Nightfall, no one will really care if you're like just over the actual recommended level because everybody's in the same boat as you. People are just trying things out, using the armor that suits them, and even most of the time they're just using their alternate characters and nobody really knows or cares. The new system creates less urgency with using the best of the best and gives room to play around with fun builds exactly what I'm doing with my character at the moment. I'm using an intellect strength build with my Night Stalker class, just for fun. I'm just trying to use different things to see what I like to do. I'm trying to fit my own niche. The whole aspect of showing off is still there. I mean, in the tower, you can put on your best stuff and show off. I still do that. That's still something which is viable. Obviously, you put all your raid gear on, especially when Hard Raid first came out. People were asking me where I got some of the stuff, and it was nice. It's nice to still have that aspect of the game. But also, it's nice to play around with some of the armor you've got and some of the guns that you've got. Like, my Supercell is actually still 280, but I don't care. I still use it in Nightfalls because it's fun. In the past, everybody looked the same. If everybody's light level has to be top and you're self-conscious about your light level being at the top, then everybody looked the same. Everybody had top-end raid gear, top-end trials gear, top-end iron banner gear, and that was it. That's all you saw, and that was really tedious, and it was it made the game stale. It also made Prison of Elders really stale, and nobody went in it because of the etheric light system, but we won't get into that right now. A perfect example of this is World of Warcraft. Everybody has their level, and then they have their item level. 
Now, item level is exactly the same as light level. Basically, each part of your gear has a level, exactly like Destiny. And it all adds up and mixes up and averages out to an item level. And that item level decides whether you're going to get into an activity or not. And that's the same with Destiny. That's all it matters for. That's all it counts for. In World of Warcraft, you could play around with really fancy armor and it wouldn't matter. Nobody would cry. Nobody would have a go at you. Your friends won't ditch you because you're using shitty armor. You're experimenting and that's okay. As I've said before, light level is only relevant in the end game. And even then, it doesn't even matter. Like you can go into a raid 312 and not no one will care. No one will care if you're 312 in hard mode Oryx. No one will care. If you're level 320, great. You've got loads of time to spare. No one, no one really gives a shit if you're 320 or 312. No one's going to care. Whereas in the past, people would certainly care if you was 34 or 33. That's completely changed and it's a really, really positive thing for the game. A lot of people on Reddit and things have said that it's shit and they should have their light levels shown. They need to show off. No. They would hate it as soon as that happened. It would become more of a grind again because it would become more compulsory or more socially compulsory to actually get to the top level. So I'd love to hear about what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, if it's a negative or a positive attitude to what I've just said. Either way, it's still fun to discuss. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye, Guardians.